Now, in this module, we're going to be focusing on uniform antenna arrays, which are arrays comprised of a collection of identical elements, all driven with the same signal amplitude, having equal spacing between neighboring elements, and a progressively stepped phase shift along the length of the array. This electronic phase shift augments the effective phase shift caused by the physical separation of the elements, and also allows dynamic adjustment of the array factor without physical rearrangement of the antenna elements. The array factor of an n-element uniform antenna array, arranged in a line along the z-axis, centered at the origin, and viewed from the far field, is given by this equation, where k is the wave number, equal to 2 pi over lambda, d is the separation between neighboring elements, and phi is the phase difference between neighboring elements. This may also be written in terms of sines, as shown here. And in the special case where n equals 2, this reduces to this equation. For an array where each element is driven with the same current magnitude, the strength of the radiation will naturally increase as the number of radiating elements increases. However, this does not necessarily reflect a system improvement since the higher power output is proportional to a higher power input. So in order to avoid conflating this effect with an actual gain improvement, the array factor is often reported as a normalized value. So here are those same three equations again, this time normalized to a per radiator magnitude. Now, you can code these equations into MATLAB and generate array factors for arrays with any number of elements, any physical separation, and any phase gradient. In the next lesson, we will take a look at the effect of each of these three factors in turn with three special cases.